Hello friends, welcome back to another video of my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about and showing you uh, the OBS Studio, how to set up a mobile phone as a wireless webcam. So let's start. So for that, we what we need to do, we have to go to the website. And for that, we will be typing OBS Studio. And then whatever it will come, we will have to go to the first link. So let's open the first link. So OBS Studio supports Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So whatever your requirement according to your OS, you can just download the OBS Studio software. So for me, I, I am using Windows. So I will be downloading it for Windows uh, 11. So let's uh, download this one by clicking on this. And the download got started. So let it download. Once it gets downloaded, then we'll have to install it to our PC. Now, as you can see, it got downloaded. So I can go to the my downloads folder. I can check that. Yeah, it got downloaded. So after that, you just have to click uh, or double click on it and or right click on it and uh, click on this open. So it will uh, present you with the installation uh, wizard. After it gets installed, when you will be opening the OVS studio for the first time, then you will get a window like this. Uh, this is the auto configuration wizard. So whatever is coming, uh, this is uh, this will automatically configure your OBS studio according to the your need. So if you are opting for uh, optimize streaming recording is secondary, then you can go for this option optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. This is also an option and I will only be using the virtual camera. That is also another option. So whatever the purpose of yours, you can choose this thing. So I, I selected this uh, second option because I am not streaming directly. I will be only recording videos and click on next 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 so it will get uh, configured according to your uh, needs now after that once you get installed and everything and uh, you ran the auto configuration then you can just open and it will present you a window like this so once you get this window this is where we have to set our scene so this is a scene so it will come as a, with a scene one. If it doesn't come, then you can always go into this, uh, click on this button and click on add. So it will add a second scene. And after you get a scene uh, added, then what you will have to do, you will have to uh, add the sources. So for adding the sources, we need to click on this add button and uh, we'll be adding the video capture device. And we will name it mobile cam and we'll place enter now hi so now how is it's showing the uh, my camera my webcam of my laptop so that's not what i want right now i want to use this droid cam source so to get this you will not able to see if you are not uh, installed the droid cam uh, client in your pc so for that we'll have to do the next step. So let's uh, cancel it out for the time being. Let's keep it added there. And now for that, we'll have to go one more time to the internet and we'll have to write Droid Cam. You will write Droid Cam. You will get to see a uh, Droid Cam uh, webcam for PC. So this is the one you have to download. So you can uh, click on download and go to this uh, website. And here also you can able to see like we have this Windows, uh, Linux, uh, both the operating system support for this uh, Droid Cam. So I am using Windows uh, for that. I will be downloading this Windows uh, client. Now, as you can see, this is the Droid Cam setup uh, already got downloaded. We can go and check in our download folders. So now uh, we'll have to install this uh, Droid Cam uh, client the same way as we have installed this OBS Studio. It's a general uh, thing, uh, just clicking on open by right clicking and open, or you can just double click on this and it will start installing and, and it will be a self explanatory uh, guide for installation. So you can follow that. So once you get installed uh, this uh, Droid Cam, you will be getting an icon like this uh, on your Windows desktop. Now, if you click on this, it will ask for a IP address and port number. So before doing anything with this, before running this Droid Cam uh, software, we need to install this uh, Droid Cam app in our mobile also. So now let me show you that how to install in your mobile. So for that, 
what we need to do we will have to go to our mobile and in the mobile uh, we will go to the play store under play store we will just in the search bar we will type for droid cam like this and we will search then after that once we get this droid cam uh, here then we will just have to install this one as you can see already in my mobile it's already got installed so uh, what we need to do we just need to open this one like this and we'll have to keep it aside and then we'll come to this droid cam app in our uh, desktop and we'll double click on it now as you can see that we have this wi-fi ip address uh, and this uh, droid cam port so droid cam port is 47 47 so that you can already see and my ip address is uh, 192.168.0.2 what it's showing here so i need to put it there like this and here you can uh, connect your uh, mobile phone through wi-fi usb uh, both are supported by, by this software so uh, i am now for the time being for the purpose of wireless uh, webcam i am using uh, through the wi-fi connection and i will be only recording video not the audio through this uh, connection so let's start it once you start so you will be able to see a screen like this where you can able to uh, this is your mobile screen where you are able to see yourself and uh, this uh, here you can change the cameras also that's a different uh, tutorial altogether so i am just putting this thing like uh, in uh, landscape mode right now and uh, it will automatically dim out after some time so we can just uh, keep it aside this window and what we can do for this window we can just mute this preview and minimize this one so this is the thing uh, now we'll have to go back to the OBS studio let me just put this thing little bit aside and also little bit smaller so you can see that what is happening now uh, yeah in the sources we'll have to select the mobile cam and we'll go to the properties and now you are able to see again I came back to my webcam so now I need to just select the anyone will will work it doesn't matter that if you select the droid cam source 3 or source 2 so i will select the source 3 and now you are able to see the mobile so if i can show you that uh, that this is a wireless setup altogether and i can just move around with the camera uh, by taking it uh, like this and i can just move around and show you like it's not connected but it's still recording the full uh, video so now i will just click ok and you are able to see now in the in the droid cam this mobile app uh, in in your mobile you will get an option of uh, turning it into hd uh, the, for that also you will have to go to this one and uh, droid cam client and you will have to click on this hd mode then it will ask for the uh, computer to restart uh, all these things if you want to do uh, want to get a hd uh, video from your mobile then you'll have to go through that uh, because uh, it's it's a free version of the uh, droid cam uh, client so now as you can see that already i am able to uh, uh, able to use my mobile as a uh, as a uh, wireless webcam and uh, it's recording pretty fine because this is these mobile cameras are very uh, high quality uh, from the laptop's uh, webcam so that's what i am using so uh, i can show you uh, a comparison also so as you can see that uh, the corner the right corner uh, image uh, the video is from my uh, this laptop webcam and this is the mobile uh, camera which is acting as a wireless webcam right now so you, you can comment in the comment box that uh, which of the camera is is better quality so i prefer this uh, mobile whenever i'm using a recording like this so now what we need to do if you just want to uh, connect your camera and don't uh, have anything else then you can just hit the start recording button and it will start recording your video now i want to record the external microphone what i am uh, uh, speaking through right now so for that what i need to do i'll have to go here and i'll be choosing the audio ca input capture so here i will external mic i will write here 
and I will just click on OK here. Now it will ask for the default device. So I can go, I have connected my mic, uh, uh, PD200X microphone from Maono. I have already made a uh, separate video for this microphone. This is PD200X from Maono. So I will be choosing this microphone and uh, I'll be clicking on OK. So now all these audio settings here. So I can just take it out and show you a little bit clearly. So this is how it is showing right now. Uh, this is the desktop audio if you want you can control the desktop audio this is the external microphone what just now i have given the input to the obs studio microphone uh, laptop inbuilt microphone so if you don't want this thing you can just mute and mute all these things now i'll be showing you the recording of this video uh, let's see so click on start recording and as you can see that i am uh, i am already able to uh, capture myself uh, wirelessly and the audio is also recording so this is how I did my microphone video also. People were asking like how I did this thing. So this is one of the process what I follow and I do to record a high quality video from my mobile using it as a webcam. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and also you can comment in the comment section that uh, what else you want to know about this OBS studio and uh, other setups. And you can also subscribe to my channel. So it will be helpful for me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.